When you carry out a calculation, the key is to set out your working clearly. Make this a habit and resist temptations to scribble the working in rough. It will stop you making careless errors and make it easier to check at the end. In an exam, even though your final answer is wrong, you may get marks for some of your working if the examiner can see clearly what you've done. So, here's a sample calculation which uses the ideal gas equation PV equals NRT. Don't worry if you haven't met this before, all the information you need is here. You are asked to work out the volume V of a gas, and they're given values for P, its pressure, N, the amount in moles, R, the gas constant, and T, the temperature, all in SI units. The first step is to rearrange the equation to give an expression for V. You can do this by dividing each side of the ideal gas equation by P. These P's cancel out, which leaves V equals NRT over P, which is what we have here. Then substitute values for N, R, T and P into this expression. Always give the number with its unit for each physical quantity. This is important in the working and not just in the answer. It allows you to check that units are consistent. For example, a very common error in thermodynamics is to have some quantities in joules per mole and others in kilojoules per mole. Note that in this book the units in the worked examples are printed in red. Let's look at the units in this expression for V. Moles and Kelvin are base SI units, whereas joules and pascals are derived units. If you look at table 1.2 on page 8, you see that 1 joule is 1 pascal meters cubed, or 1 pascal equals 1 joule per meters cubed. So you can either convert joules to pascals meters cubed, or convert pascals to joules per meters cubed. Here we've converted joules to pascals meters cubed because the cancelling is simpler but it doesn't matter which you do you'll get the same answer perhaps you'd like to do the conversion both ways and confirm this for yourself now we can work out the answer and cancel the units moles and moles to the minus one on the top line cancel out as do Kelvin and Kelvin to the minus one. Pascals on the top and Pascals on the bottom line of the fraction also cancel out. This leaves meters cubed, which is the SI unit of volume. Finally, check the significant figures. If you are multiplying or dividing, the number of significant figures in the answer should be the same as the smallest number of significant figures in the data you've used. If we look back at the data given at the top, we see that R is given to four significant figures, but everything else to three. So the answer V equals 0.248 meters cubed is quoted to three significant figures. It's okay to carry an extra significant figure or two in the working, but always round off to the correct number of significant figures in the answer.